Hello and good morning. It is bright, it is hot, it is humid. I love it. It's fantastic, but let's go inside because I can't see. That's better. It's Sunday. Yesterday we had a huge day of training after actually feeling hungover because Friday night I hung out with my friends and we drank. I had about uh, three fourths of a two six of rum, so it was about 15 shots worth. Woke up feeling not the greatest whatsoever and we went after a brick session. It was our longest yet most powerful brick session that I've done. So we did about an hour and 40 minutes on the bike, averaged the highest watts for that length of time, which is 194 watts. We did a 5K run off the bike, immediately off the bike, and I ended up doing that in about 23 minutes. The first kilometer and a half is supposed to be fast, so we did it at 350 per kilometer pace. The rest of it was supposed to be slower, we did that, uh, it was supposed to be about 520 per kilometer, but I just felt so good for some reason. So I ran at 450 per kilometer. Average pace over the entire 5K off the bike was 437 per kilometer. I consumed a total of 140 grams of carbs coming from scratch on the bike and during the run. Then I proceeded to go to the gym and hit an upper body session. We did full upper, you know, back, chest, shoulders, arms. I didn't get the core in. Total training was three and a half hours yesterday. Today, I slept fantastically. Today we're doing a one hour long easy run. Pace will be about 5.30 per kilometer. And then we're doing a swim session later. It'll be open water. It's about 1500 meters. We just swim straight with as many rests as we want. It's to get a feel of, of the water and, and go for those longer distances without rest. I'm still getting in a 15 minute lower body stretching routine in about five days a week. And that's been amazing for injury prevention. I've still been using lacrosse ball to get into tight knot areas three times a week, massage gun almost every day for five minutes, all on the calves, glutes, quads, hamstrings, even into the lower and upper back and also traps. Not to mention one or two visits to massage each month, one or two visits to Cairo each month. Just staying on top of things. That's that's how we continue to make progress. These are the shoes I've currently been training with. The Pegasus 37s are, are perfect for the long, easy runs. Very comfortable, so stable. I love the way they feel on the roads. I just got these Nike Tempo Next Percents. They're amazing for a little bit of a faster run because they still have the plate in them. If I'm doing a run that's a anything faster than a slow, easy run, I'm now gonna be using these and I love them. They're actually my favorite so far. I like the way they feel the best, in my opinion. And then the Nike Alpha Flies are what I use for the track. I really don't like the instability feeling around the, the ankle. It feels like I can get an ankle roll really easy in these. Everything else about them, love. The only thing is the ankle roll. So I keep that for the track on the 800 meter repeats, one kilometer repeats or maybe some, some time trials, but most faster runs are gonna be done in these, and then all slower runs, easy runs are done in these. We're heading out for the 10K now. Should be holding a pace of about 5.30 per kilometer. It is extremely humid. It's quite spicy in terms of heat compared to what we're usually used to, but I'm gonna enjoy the sweat. Let's get after it. That was fun and completely drenched. The video doesn't do justice, but every part of me is 100% drenched. There's not a single dry spot, but it was enjoyable. It was uh, it was pretty solid. It's gonna be crazy. This is uh, definitely the most ever sweat. We're gonna try today's swim sesh with no wetsuit. It's bumping here though. I've never seen this this packed before in my life, so. Hopefully it's not too overcrowded. We got the swim done. I'll be honest, it was much more challenging to stay in proper position without the wetsuit. I, had to, I feel like I had to kick more to float. That was one thing I really noticed. And uh, my arm, my stroke rate felt like it needed to be a little faster as well, just to kind of stay in the proper body position. It could be because I'm not used to swimming without the wetsuit now, but it felt tougher for sure. And uh, I needed more rest, but I'm also kind of feeling overreached, not to mention it, it was really hot today when I did the 10K run. So I feel like that drained a lot out of me. Plus I had my best workouts yesterday. I might be making excuses now, but that swim felt much more challenging than I thought it would be. <laughs> we got it done though. So we're gonna head home and eat. It's late, it's like 9.30 PM already. Just got home from the swim and showered up and that was a very challenging swim. The training this weekend has gone fantastically, I must say. I think the fatigue is starting to catch up. Combined with drinking that one night, the Friday night, you know, Saturday I felt pretty good. I crushed the session and then crushed the 10K in the heat, wasn't used to the heat. I don't know if I filled up with enough electrolytes before I went into the swim. I was feeling kind of depleted going into the swim. And then during the swim, I was debating calling it. I was debating just doing half and then stopping because 
I didn't feel safe, honestly. I just gave myself more rest, and then once I gave myself enough rest, it felt fine, everything felt smooth, so there was no issues there. We'll see how tomorrow goes. It's, it's 10 p.m., I'm gonna have salmon and rice, and then I'll probably have some crackers just to get more carbs in. I'm just replying to emails, getting ready and setting my day up for tomorrow. But yeah, I can't complain, uh, no nagging injuries. All the training has been going fantastically. Hey, hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. June 30th, and it's my birthday today. Nothing special. Later on for dinner, we're having sushi with the fam. Today, we're training clients, going through the full usual routine. We've got a gym session, and we've got a bike session. We're going to get those done. Lots of work to be had. Nothing too fancy in terms of celebrations this year. Two days ago, I went to the beach, and then on the weekend, I saw all my friends had like a little pool get-together. So, that's all I need, just you know, see all my friends, pretty chill. I've got a lot more exciting things booked for August and October. Right now, traveling situation is still not, not really the greatest in terms of Canada. We're gonna continue to work, and when it's time to play, it'll be uh, time to play hard. We're just having the greens, having the reds, got the coffee. I'm gonna start journaling with the goal setting and daily tasks. My readiness score, on my aura ring is 51. Overreached and under recovered. Sleep hasn't been the greatest consistently. It's been showing lower and lower levels of sleep. Duration and quality has been suffering recently. I do need to catch up. I may take an impromptu rest day tomorrow. Training is, is heating up, let me tell you. Yesterday, I trained legs and then did a pyramid run session. Never again, that was brutal. My legs did not have it in them to keep up with the pace I need to keep up with. I was all, I almost did the pace I need to, but I fell behind in terms of performance. It's okay, but we're a little beat up, I think. I'm gonna start needing to use this poncho because there's lots of rain coming for the cycle sessions. I usually stay fasted for the first couple hours of the day, have my first meal around eight or nine or 10 a.m. That's when I do my trading, and after that I go ahead and do online client work. Usually train some clients in the morning. Mid-afternoon is when I get a workout in for sure. And then in the afternoon, evening is when I get my second and third workouts in. I'll fit in some reading throughout the day somewhere. And then editing will be usually at night sometime. And those are usually my days and that's fun for me. I love that. It's, it's a perfect schedule for me. In a perfect world, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep at nine and wake up at five every day.
<laughs> Upper and core went damn well. We're back, had a protein bar, showered up, visited the parents real quick, said hi. Mom showed me the birthday balloons, gave me some love. I just talked to them for a bit, talked about the plan with the sushi. It's all ordered up. We're gonna eat at six and it is now just past four o'clock. So we're gonna get our just over an hour cycle session, basically averaging 180 watts for just over an hour, but it's broken at intervals. So we do like 15 minutes hard, one minute recovery, 12 minutes hard, one minute recovery, 10 minute hard, one minute recovery, that kind of sort of thing. But the hard isn't very hard. So we're gonna be all right. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to carb loading i'm feeling quite depleted also looking forward to catching up on sleep we're gonna need a lot of that well we didn't get to complete that cycle session once again a little bit frustrating now at this point i gotta send the bike in for a week unable to shift into the biggest gear so whenever i go downhill i basically can't put any watts to the pedals because the gear isn't in the biggest gear i'm just gonna have a quick shower head over to my parents place and have sushi try to relax and hang out it's already Oh, just after 5 p.m. now. All right, so we just untape it. We got the sushi. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. We got a lot. Yep, we got a lot. Got a lot after you said coming. not to get a lot. Hope we have a lot of people coming. Yeah, full full party. 25 people. Wow, that looks really good in this video. Well, try no, it leave, first. Leave it, right? If, if wants you're going to try this, the dressing to see if you even like it. Wait, you're going to have the mix up? Just mix it up, though. Yeah, mix it. You guys eat it. Teriyaki. I don't want that as spicy salmon and dragons and dragon mango salad miso soup.